This is my demo reel of how I made sound for the first person shooter game Cube using Wise by Audio Kinetic. My name is Boris Nikiforov. Cube is a first person shooter game with ugly monsters, so it needs to be scary and stressful. With the School of Video Game Audio, I learned how to make an asset list of my level. In WISE, I collected a list of all the sounds in the game and then used them in my spreadsheet. When updating it, I could see the status of all of my sounds. Using my H4N and external microphone, I recorded myself on real grass, gravel, and concrete surfaces. In WISE, I made random containers for the heel and toe separately, so one event triggers the heel and then toe container with a short delay simulating real footsteps with a rich variety. The footstep event also triggers a random container with cloth sounds to simulate the player's movement, clanking with stuff in their backpack and other gear. Shotgun for the shotgun blast sound, I used audio from freesound.org as a bass and processed it with a few plugins. Then I added low frequencies, which affects on a bass sample as a light distortion. Also, a bass kick was added for more impact. Then the event triggers a mechanical layer with a sound of a trigger click and cartridge reloading sound. For the reloading, I recorded my own 12 gauge pump action hunting rifle. For the shell falling sound, I recorded empty 12-gauge plastic hunting shells. All layers are the blast, two stages of reloading, and then the shell sound playing from a corresponding random container, so every time there's a different combination of sounds. Chain gun shells. I found brass hunting shells from a 12-gauge. My recorded file was pitched up to simulate small chain gun shells. My rocket launcher sound was made of auto tools clanking. For all of the monster sounds, I recorded myself. Ball is a huge guy, so all recording was pitched down on 12 to 15 semitones. Goblin is a fast little red creature and very evil with a crazy voice. <laughs> Knight is most like a human enemy, but with some magic spell sounds. His emotions sound not from his location, but it always sounds like they are inside of your head. The ogre is human-like and talks something in his own language. Rhino is a cyborg. His voice was produced with his internal speaker mixed with beeps. <laughs> Slith is a very dangerous creature. Why? Player sound. The player is human, so I also recorded him with my voice. <laughs> Get Health 100 was made with my synth Arturia Mini Brute.
Carrot is a special trigger which opens doors. That I also made with my synth. For armor, I recorded heavy metal pieces clanking together. Then I added a powerful low end to make a feeling of something solid and durable. Get ammo packs. Its sound was made to represent what you get. To make the sound more realistic, I added reverberation for each area according to its size and wall form. For example, for a large hall with high ceilings, I added a quiet ping-pong delay and a long reverb with a low-pass filter. For narrow corridors, I set louder first reflections with a short reverb tail almost without low-pass filter. <laughs> 